What's up YouTube? So I made a video about a garage build that's a little bit different than some of the other ones. Uh, it's really not good, but you've already clicked so you're contractually obligated to watch it. Getting the band back together and uh, got a job with the carpenter that used to work with me. Um, a kind of frequent recurring customer of his. Uh, we're going to go build a garage for him. So it's going to be me and him, and he's bringing his son along as a laborer. So uh, I'm not going to do a lot of video uh, with everybody being there, but um, I'm going to try to keep you posted and give you an update, and we'll see how fast this thing goes and see if uh, he remembers how to build one of these. Here we go. You can't even see it. Ten hours of work. You really can't see it. All right. I have to catch back up in the morning. There's the skylight. Good morning. Day two, we're going out to finish up that garage today. It, presuming I even left the footage in from last night, I showed you what we got done in 10 hours. Basically framed it. Um, we were short a little bit of OSB for the roof, and we have to get the door trim on, uh, the overhead door, uh, window set, man door set, Run king post collar top. It's early. King post collar ties and a stringer uh, for the roof and the joist system. Get it shingled, get cleaned up, gonna cut it loose to the siders. So let's go. All right. Speaking of the siders, I'm on my way to go see what their progress is on my rental house that had the fire. Um, that video should be up somewhere, maybe. I don't know if it's up yet. If it is, if it exists, uh, I'll put a card or you'll see it at the end screen or something like that. It, yeah, they're supposed to be buttoning up for me there, and then um, we're getting this garage done because they're tackling that garage next weekend for us. So I'm going to see if they're there at the job, which probably not, it's pretty early. Um, and I also got a text in the middle of the night from one of my tenants who locked himself out of his house again So he's sleeping in his car, and I've got to go let him in good grief So you get that stuff done get up to the job I'll try to give you a quick recap while there's not a ton of people milling about on the job and uh, Get this thing buttoned up, and then I'll tell you the hours that it took us to get it done. So uh, we'll catch you there This is it. This was 10 hours yesterday Got rolling a little after 8 um, started actually making cuts, nailing up walls, right around 9 o'clock, got done a little bit before 7. So that's where you're short the OSB, that should be on its way. Um, and uh, since I'm the only one on the job at the moment, I could probably start pulling these angle braces, make the cuts on the doors, a window. There's lots of material up front, still needs to make it to the back, but... So it's 20 feet wide, 22 deep, um, 5 pitch on the roof, and 1 foot overhangs all the way around, 16 by 7 door, I mean, basic standard um, 2 car door, so... That's it. I don't think I'm really going to run the camera again. I didn't do it yesterday, I never even thought about setting it up for, for some reason. Um, get this thing rolling, and uh, when we get it done, which should be you know, five hours maybe, get it all done and shingled, um, do another walk around and kind of break down, itemize the, the time that we had into it. It obviously goes a lot quicker when you have more people, especially people that know what they're doing. So, see you in a bit. Check it out. We are done. We are cleaned up. All the materials back here. Siding is sitting there waiting for the siders who actually came here to get paid from me. They finished my job and they wanted the address for next week. So that's it. Three foot window, three by three window, three foot door. Um, cut roof vents in. You can see up there. 
two roof vents, ceiling joists every two feet, which is not called for by code, uh, but it's nicer. Put a stringer along there, tied some king post down, so it's pretty good right there. So that's it, uh, 20 by 22, five pitch roof, um, big door, little door, window, foot overhangs all the way around the extra joists and stuff. So there was a little bit more than just a bare bones garage, which I've done before. Mostly do. You probably saw the videos of a bare bones garage. Um, that's how we roll. 17 hours. That's set up, breakdown uh, each day. And all the material brought back that needs to stay. All the material returned that was extra. Uh, everything cleaned up. We're done. We're getting out of here. Um, so... Click on one of these videos over here and check out some more and uh, always hit that thumb up and let's see you guys on the next video. Hey, I warned you that it wasn't any good, but you stuck around to the end. So, you know, while you're here, drop a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe, do whatever. I don't even care anymore.